In this Blender tutorial, I'll show you how to get a Milky Way inside a Blender. The first thing to do is go right here to the first link I have in the description, and it's the star map from NASA. And this is uh, this is basically the HDRI. It's going to be the map that surrounding that's in the, your world. So just download this. They have uh, I recommend two options. The 4K to like the preview and then you change it like to 8 or 16. I'm going to use 4K for the preview and 16K for the final. So here I am in the latest version of Blender. Let's just, uh, you know, get started. Just, uh, right here to the shading tab. And there we go. And change it from object to world. First things first, let's just enable the one add-on, which is the node regular. So, right there, node regular, and make sure to save your preferences or use the auto save to auto save your preferences. So now we need to uh, make sure we put in our world. So let's just go right here and select environment texture, and then you locate your. Uh, your file so there you go i locate my file and you can see well nothing is happening well uh we need to change the preview from render uh, from material preview to render so you can hit z and go to render or go right here and change it right here to this icon so there you go you can see that's working using the no wrangler let's hit con control t and apply the mapping and texture coordinates. So let's just make this a little bit more smaller. There we go. So there we go. Uh, you can see our Milky Way. Oh man, this is my favorite part. It has a lot of lighting as well. So you just use a mapping node to like, you know, change your, your rotation and scale. So just go like there, make the traditional like, you know, I have some mountains right here. There we go, that's nice. So let's make these stars pop out a little bit. So first things first, we're going to search for mix shader. Um, because we also will add other features. So add another mix shader for another node that we're going to add search up emission and also coloring so you're basically going to make a mask for the you know for our image so just select the image control shift click using the node regular there you go you can see it's black and white so now just crush these values as you can see the milky way just disappears and these stars are alone so that's basically what do you also if you don't want a lot of stars just uh let's make it brighter but we're just going to look like this maybe put haze to give a little bit more more contrast there we go that's nice so now uh, we're going to make this the output to the mix shader and we're just going to leave the emission as it is what we're going to do is put this into the factor so if you now control shift click, you can see there's our Milky Way, but the stars are now being controlled by this strength. So just put like 10, you can see they pop out a little bit more. Uh, just uh, if you're using Eevee, make sure to turn on Bloom. There you go, you can see they pop out a little bit more. Maybe I just want to value it. Like a hundred maybe is good let's just space out these nodes a little bit more so let me just uh do that quickly so here's our basic node setup we're going to use this shader node now to make a uh, you know like the light pollution and stuff we're going to make that right here inside of blender so the first things first that we need to do is go and search you know actually shift do this background in there Get it right here to the shader. So this is now going to control the um, the light, basically the color. Just going to make a very slight yellow. 
think that's good. We cannot see it yet. But uh, so now what we're going to do is duplicate the color ramp and put the color to the factor and uh, control T. So just go right here and go right here to the factor. So now we connected the nodes right here and we just need, we need to uh, so let's get that nice, probably use the same texture coordinate. Yeah, let's just use the same one. Go right here. And at the same texture coordinate, just press X to delete it. Basically, we just could put a mapping head. But there we go, just uh, space this out. And uh, put the color ramp right here. Make sure this is nice and tight here. There we go. Now, control shift click right here to preview our mix. Uh, this is not working. Probably because of this. There we go. So now you can see that's like here. And now we just need to rotate this. So let's just do that. Okay, so I got it pretty much leveled down. So you can see that's how much I went. There you go, you can see we have that little bit of light pollution. So let's now just drag finally these values and get them a little bit closer. As you can see, it gives a nice job. So if you want them closer, right there. Now the final thing is just to adjust these values. Um, if you want to purchase this node setup, you could do on my Patreon by supporting the channel. Um, and that's it really for this tutorial. You can organize your nodes by hitting shift, right click. There we go, that, that adds a reroute. Just make things a little bit more organizable right there. So here's our final node setup. You can see all the nodes. Here we have the basic HDRI connected right here. This adds more light and then it's just connected to the slight pollution so there you go do check out my how to organize nodes tutorial as well as my how to make landscape tutorials to learn more about how to make landscapes and how you, you can organize your nodes and, and get in a nice looking landscape so uh yeah that's how to do it there are some basic examples of scenes that i made i will do a tutorial on those Milky Way landscape tutorials. It will be very soon. Also, I will be purchasing later on, I think today, I don't know. Still need to see the uh, physical starlight in the atmosphere that also has, has a built-in Milky Way. But that's it. So the final step is to load your full uh, HDRI version if you made all the parameters. So it's just uh, because of space and stuff so let me just load the final hdri and compare some render uh, differences so here you see 4k you can see that doesn't look good at all and if you zoom into the cube you can see this is much more details because this is low resolution so let me just compare it to the 16k so I'll render one more time and you can see with the 16k map it really brings a lot more detail also, the map was weirdly much darker. I don't know why. So I just added an emission shader right here. I added an emission, turn it up to two. Just gives it a little bit more brightness. I don't know why, but so there you go, guys. That's how to put a Milky Way inside a Blender, um, and that's as basic as this goes. So uh, hope you find this tutorial useful. And if you did, please do give a like to help the channel and also put a comment on the video you can give me feedback if i'm doing things correctly and also make sure to subscribe because i try to post videos every single day so make sure to be notified there you go guys i'll hope to see you on my next tutorial as always my name is kion and i'll see you all in my next video